Today we're making fettuccine alfredo with shrimp with a side of garlic three cheese bread. I just bought the Texas toast from the store and I preheated the oven for 425 and just placed all the garlic bread and cheese side up in the glass tray. Now we're just going to throw them in the oven and wait about 20 minutes or so. Now we're going to make the sauce pretty simple you can just buy the jar and heat it up if you like but I find this to be a lot better um, you're going to get green onions just chop off the top and just chop them into tiny sections you're just gonna just use the greens for the sauce um, as many as you'd like so now onto the sauce I return my um, pop here onto medium heat. So now I'm going to use a can of creative mushroom, any brand of your choice. I'm just going to throw that in there. Hey, mind you, you don't have to use um, the mayonnaise I use, I use Best Foods. You could use whatever you prefer, whether it's low fat or low sodium. It really doesn't matter. It's just up to your preference. So let's just heat, let that heat up and get creamy. And then we are going to add our Kroger brand roasted garlic alfredo sauce. And you can use whatever alfredo sauce that you would like. Now I just added um, my alfredo sauce to the pot. Um, you might want to let that stand upside down. Um, so I'll go ahead and throw in your green onions. Put it on medium heat and just stir it every couple of minutes. Now I'm just going to be adding a splash of vitamin D milk. Um, it's better to use heavy cream if you have it, have it. If not, it's fine. You can just use milk as well. Just use it a little bit more creaminess. Now I'm going to be adding in a generous amount of Parmesan. Uh, today I'm using Italian style. This has Parmesan, Romano cheese, Asiago cheese, Provolone cheese, and Fontina cheese. Add as much as you'd like to taste. I like a generous amount. Like that should be good. I really don't measure it. It's just kind of by eye, however, and however much cheese that you like. Just mix that in and eventually it'll melt down into it and just so there's no more lumps. So I just added your traditional ground black pepper, about a half a teaspoon, and um, so I'm just gonna incorporate that. So I'm just getting my pre-cooked packaged shrimp with the tails on and I'm just gonna rinse them off. And then once I rinse them, I'm just gonna pull the tails off and just put them back into the the sauce. Once the sauce is completely heated through and all the cheese is melted down, you can go ahead and throw your shrimp in there, throw your pasta in there, mix it, and then it's be ready to serve. So um, now the garlic bread are done, you can see the top is melted and it looks nice and golden. If you have a clear glass, you can see the bottom is clearly golden brown. I'll remember to turn your oven off as soon as you are done. Now that the sauce has cooked down for about 10 to 12 minutes, I'm going to add in the shrimp. Just give that a little stir. And let's incorporate our pasta. It's standard fettuccine. Um, you can use whatever pasta you like. Just mix it around and you're ready to go. Um, I'm just using a kale Caesar salad kit by Dole. You can use whatever salad kit you like. I'm just trying to make it easy and fast tonight. Just get the kitchen scissors, cut it open, 
take out the uh, dressing and stuff that comes with it. So it's just throw it in your bowl, open up the pack that comes with it, and just add everything, your croutons, your dressing, and your parm. So this is the final uh, product. Um, so your shrimp, I just top it a little bit more parmesan. Your kale, and your salad, and your three cheese garlic bread. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to us. Like us.